After a long day of work, I'm sure the last thing you want to be doing is figuring out where you're going to post on Facebook and Twitter. So wouldn't it be nice if you can train AI to write in your tone of voice and post for you on automation every single day like clockwork. This will help you build your brand as well as engage with your followers. And this system is exactly what I'm going to show you how to set up today. So the tool that we're going to be using is called make.com. Make.com is an RPA or robotic processing automation tool that allows you to string along different types of software together in a flow on automation so that they all operate. And I'm going to show you how to set this up today. So once you get your make.com account, you can just go up to the top here and create a new scenario. From here, you can see that it's actually very visual. This whole tool is no code. So that means you can set up this whole AI automation without writing one single line of code, which is incredible. We're going to go here and press the plus button. The first thing we're going to set up is a trigger. This will tell Make what is going to trigger, what is going to start this automation. And it's actually quite um, intuitive. You, you basically tell it, use this tool first, then use this tool, then use this tool, then use this tool. In a visual way, you can describe how you want this automation to operate. So the first thing that's going to trigger our automation is a Google Sheet. What we're going to do is put in the URL of a recent article about our industry or our niche in there. And then AI is going to go into work and then write all of our social media posts. I'm going to press the plus button here, and then I'm going to search for Google Sheets. And then after I select Google Sheets, I'm going to select watch new role. So this will trigger whenever I put in a new role, a new news article into my spreadsheet. I have already made my spreadsheet right over here. And as you can see, it looks like this. It just has a news link. And then I put in one article in here here for testing purposes. And this is a new article that just came out today about Elon Musk and Elon Musk says that AI will take away all of our jobs. Great. So I have this article in here and then I'm ready to turn this article into four social media posts. Back in Make, I'm going to select this spreadsheet. I'm going to click the blue button here and then find my spreadsheet in my Google Drive's folder. Then I have to select this sheet to use, which this spreadsheet only has one sheet, which is just sheet one. So I'm all good to go there. And lastly, in the limit, I'm going to select one because I want it to write one article at a time. Now I'm going to press OK. And then down at the bottom here, we're going to change the scheduling setting. By default, it's going to run every 15 minutes. But I don't want a new social media post to be posted every 15 minutes to all of my accounts. So I'm going to change this interval to every day because I just want one post every day and then at 8 a.m. is fine and I'm going to press OK. All right so just like that we have our trigger set up. Okay now that we have our trigger set up the next step is to have AI read that article and we're going to use a tool called Preplexity to do that. Preplexity is a competitor to OpenAI and Claude but what it does better than these two other language models is that it can ac actually access the web and be able to read turn information about different articles to you in real time. So as you may know, OpenAI and Claude actually have a cut-up date, and it only knows information generally from six months ago. So it doesn't have the latest information as of right now. I know that's going to be changing in the next couple of months, but as of right now, Perplexity is the only large language model that can access the web in real time. You can sign up for a free account in Perplexity, and you'll be taken to a dashboard that looks like this. And what you'll need to do is to get your your API key and connect that into make.com. So once you're in Preplexity, you want to go down to the bottom and click the gear icon. From here, you'll be able to see the top menu, which is Accounts, Profile, API, and Enterprise. You're going to go ahead and click on your API key. This is where you can add in more additional funds. I had in $10 and this lasted me ages. And you're going to go down here and copy your API key. Once you have copied your API key, you're going to go back to make and then press add an additional module. From here, we're going to search for preplexity and then we're going to select create a chat completion. If this is your first time accessing and using preplexity in make, you're going to press add right up here and then simply put in your API key and then press save and this will work. You can leave the model at Llama 3 and 
if you want to change to different models, that's fine as well. But I find Llama 3 works just fine. And then here you will just put in what you want Pricplexy to do in the content and then give it a role. The role will always be user. I just leave uh, the tokens and temperature blank for now. So tokens will determine how long the message will be. If you leave it to default, it's just going to spread as long as it needs to. And then temperature tells it how creative it can be. I think the default settings for this will be fine. Here in the content, I'll just tell it to summarize this article and then I'm going to select the news link one. The reason I'm selecting news link in column A is because what this is going to fill out is the link that is already in there. Because I named the first column in the spreadsheet news link, that is what I want Preplexity to access. So I'm going to press OK here, save my work, really important, make does an auto save. So I've uh, lost a lot of work over the years over that. And then um, I'm just going to press run once to see if we're getting the results that we want. It's important to con continuously test your work so that you can find out the bugs earlier on. All right, so just like that, we have ran this successfully. And then let's just take a look. So from make, you can see the little pop-up bubbles at the top and you can press the magnifying glass to dive deeper. And then if I go into the input, what we input it into make, I'm gonna expand on messages. So you can see, we told it to summarize this article, see how it auto-filled the, the value that was under um, column one. And then it's gonna go to the next row, the next time we run and then the next row and the next row, right? So we can see that is working perfectly. And then in the output, I'm gonna expand on choices and then message and then content. And we can see that, yes, it did summarize the article here for us. That's perfect. Step one is working. So we have summarized the article. The next thing that we wanted to do is to write a Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and X uh, post for us. And the way that we're going to do this is to use a router. And the router will allow us to perform uh, multiple actions at once. So I'm going to create four different routers because we want four different posts to be created here. And then I'm going to use uh, Claude to write these posts. And the reason that I'm using Claude is because currently I find that Claude is just generating a bit better output than OpenAI is. So I'm going to click on Claude. You, by the way, you can use OpenAI for this as well. Um, I'll actually show you how to set up OpenAI in the next example so that you can choose which uh, large language model that you want. I'm going to uh, click on create a message. And then if this is your first time setting up Claude, click add and then just put in your API key right over here. From your Claude account, just go into settings and you'll be able to get your API key. Okay, and under models, I always select Claude 3 Opus, which is the highest model that you can use. Under the row, I'm gonna select user, and then under the content, when I expand it, um, I'm gonna put text here, and then this is where I can put in my prompt, okay? I've already pre-written a prompt for this, Act as a social media manager and generate a Facebook post. The post should engage the audience with compelling introduction, provide essential details, and encourage them to encourage interaction through likes, comments, and shares. And with clear call to action, include optional hashtags. Here's a summary of the article that I want you to write a Facebook post about. And this is where I actually enter in the result or the output from the previous step. So remember in make the previous step was that we went into preplexity and we generated generated the summary of the article. Now I can go in there and then I expanded on choices then I expanded on message and I clicked on content. And now uh, this part is going to pre-fill with the result from the previous step. Okay. And I'm going to press okay right here. Okay, so just like that, we have our Facebook post written. Now the next part is we're going to now set up Instagram. We're going to follow pretty much the same step, but in this case, I'll use OpenAI to write the Instagram post instead of Claude, just to show you how to do it in using both methods. Okay. So I'm going to press the plus button here. I'm going to search for OpenAI. I'm going to click on the OpenAI module, and I'm going to go down here and select the second one, which is create a completion. And this is where we can actually use OpenAI off of ChatGPT. And if this is your first time connecting to OpenAI, click add at the top and then put in your API key right over here.
If you're trying to find your API key from your OpenAI account, simply go to platform.openai.com. And then once you log in, you can see that the last tab here is API key. Simply click on that and then create a new key. Give it a name. I'm going to call it test for now. Then it's going to give you this key. You simply copy this key right over here. Go back to make, press add and then put in your key right over here and press save. And then this is how you can use OpenAI off of ChatGPT. I'm gonna close that for now because I already have this connected. All right, so from our model, I'm gonna select GPT-4 because I want the most powerful model that I can use at the moment. And then once I select ChatGPT-4 under messages, this is where I can give it my prompt. Now for the role, again, I'm gonna select user. And then for the content, I'm gonna put in my prompt and I'm also going to attach the summary of the article that we just wrote. So this is my simple prompt here as a digital marketing specialist, create an Instagram post about the following artificial intelligence article, ensure the content is visually appealing and include an inspirational message, use emojis to enhance engagement, suggest relevant hashtags. Here's a summary of the article I wanted to write. And then now once I click here, I can see all of the outputs from the previous steps. We're going to go to preplexity, expand on choices, expand on messages message and then click on content because this is where the API is storing all of the previous outputs that we just have generated from the article, right? Okay, so just like that, we finished our Instagram and at the bottom, we need to put in a number of tokens. So for this, I'm going to put in, let's say 2000 maximum. All right, by the way, currently the maximum you can put in, I think is 4,097. 96, 96, yeah. Okay, now that we have our Instagram set up, let's now do the same for, for X. Okay, so now we're just repeating the process for Twitter, we're X. So here I've set up the OpenAI module just as we have previously, and I've put in my prompt to tell it to write a Twitter post. And again, I'm gonna go under choices, under message, and then under content to populate to populate the summary of the article I just chosen. And I'm gonna press OK here at the bottom. Lastly, I'm gonna set up my LinkedIn. And for this one, I'm gonna do Claude again. So I'm gonna press the plus button. I'm gonna search for Claude and then create a message. From here, I'm going to select the model I'm gonna use, which is Claude 3 Opus, the most powerful model available so far. Give it a number of uh, tokens. For the role, I'm gonna select user. For the content type, I'm gonna select text. And then under text, this is where I'm gonna put in my prompt again. All right, I have put in my LinkedIn prompt right here. All right, great, so that's my prompt for LinkedIn. I'm gonna press OK. And the last thing before we connect it to the actual platforms is uh, for Instagram, I actually wanted to generate an image as well. So from the Instagram uh, router here, I'm gonna press another pl pl uh, plus symbol, which allows me to add an additional um, module here. And then I'm gonna use OpenAI to generate an image. Uh, you can also use Stable Diffusion as well, um, but for this example, I'm going to use OpenAI. And then I'm going to select generate an image from this list. This will allow me to generate a image using DALI. And then I'm going to use DALI 3. And then this is where I can put in my prompt. All right, I have put in my prompt for, for this image. I'm going to press OK. So just like that, we have our whole system set up. Let's go ahead and save it and run it and then see if everything's working properly. If it is, then all we need to do is connect it to all of our social media platforms and then we're good to go. All right, our testing has finished. So let's take a look at the results here. At the top for our Facebook output, I'm just gonna click on the little one and the little bu bubble that comes out to see what the results are. Under outputs, I'm gonna look at content one and then the text. And then here is where I can read um, what the AI has written for our Facebook post. And if you don't like what it has written, then modify your prompt until it sounds like you can modify the length, you can tell it to include more emojis, you can tell it to include more hashtags, uh, you can tell it to shorten it, you can give it maximum length. So you can really play around with the prompt until you get it to exactly what you want. And you know, this, is, this looks fine to me. Let's take a look at the Instagram one. Under outputs, I'm gonna press on choices and then um, look inside the message and the message content. And I can see, whoa, this is a bit too long. So I can modify my prompt to actually tell it to shorten it. Let's take a look at the image that uh, DALI has generated here. Again, under outputs, I'm gonna look at the data. 
and it's giving me this URL. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is the image that it generated for this article. Not bad. I probably will prompt it to not have words on it, but generally not bad. What you would do in during this step is to fix your prompt until you get the output to be exactly what you need it to be and you can check all of your outputs here. Once you're happy with those prompts, what you would do is to add another module and this is where you would actually start connecting it to your accounts. So for the first one, I'm gonna connect it to Facebook. I'm going to search for Facebook. You can either connect it to your Facebook page or your particular account. I needed to connect it to my uh, Facebook page for engagement for my business. So I'm gonna press Facebook page and then press create a post. From here, I had to create that connection to my account and press save. Facebook is going to pop up the authorization. And once I have authorized my Facebook connection, I can select the specific page that I wanted to be posted to. Once I have selected the page, here I can put in the exact message that I wanted to post, and this would be the output from the previous step. So as we can see all of the results from the previous step now from uh, Entropic or Claude, and then under content, I'm going to select the text that it just generated, and then press OK. Great. And just like that, I'll have my Facebook post posting at 8.23 a.m. every single day. Now I'm going to repeat the process for Instagram under the search app. I'm going to look for Instagram for business, and then I'm going to create a photo post. I'm going to have to add an account here connected to my account. After I've connected to my account, I need to select the photo URL, which was generated from the previous step. So I'm going to expand on the data of the previous step and then get that URL of the photo that was just created by DALI3. Next, I need to put in the caption. And the caption was generated two steps before, right? And then we're going to expand on choices under the OpenAI module again, expand on message, and then create, and then select the content that we have created for the Instagram post, and then press OK. Great. Remember to periodically save your work. Next thing you want to do is look for Twitter or X, and then we're going to select create a post again. Again, connect to your account. And lastly, we just want to connect to LinkedIn. Again, same process press the add button, and then now look for LinkedIn, select create user text post. Perfect. From here, connect to your LinkedIn account, press save, put in your username and password to authorize this connection, and then you're all good to go. Lastly, you just need to turn on this automation for everything to run. Before we go, if you don't want it to post automatically to start with, if you want to start reviewing the work, you could actually uh, disconnect this by right clicking and press on link, have the post sent to you on an email or a Google doc, and you'll review it for the first couple of uh, days or weeks until you get the prompt down, until you feel comfortable having the AI system run on automation. You can do so by adding the plus button. And then from here, if you wanted to send it to you on your email, just click Gmail and then you can select send an email. You can just send this email to yourself. So put in your email address right here and simply put in the result from Entropic or OpenAI in the content section, then press OK. Just like that, the AI will send you an email with the contents of all your posts so you can review it and then maybe modify the prompt until you really get that prompt down and you feel comfortable doing all this on automation. Lastly, to have your social media AI automation running every day, make sure in your spreadsheet you have enough news links. The way that we have set it up, remember, is that every single day at 8.23 a.m., what this automation will do is that it will be triggered and it will take the next news link URL that's on your spreadsheet and Preplexity is going to read and summarize that and then OpenAI and Claude is going to turn this URL into Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter and LinkedIn posts, okay? So just make sure you have enough URL on here and then your automation will be all set to go. I hope you guys find this as fascinating and as cool as I do. It's absolutely mind blowing how much you could do with AI and automations. And just like that, within 10, 20 minutes, you have a whole system set up for your social media that will be able to post for you every single day. If you liked and enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel below for more content 
content just like this. Also, if you're looking to learn more about how to use AI and automation, sign up for my free course below as well. And I'll see you soon.